Welcome everyone to another lecture of electron microscopy. Today I'm gonna talk about another type of uh, gun, which is the field emission gun. Mm. And it's often abbreviated as FEG. So the field emission gun is basically the best available gun on the market uh, for electron microscopes. So and it works with a bit different uh, principle than the previous ones. I will try to explain uh, these things now. So I already have my drawing here, so I will just uh, complete it. So basically this part is the uh, field emission uh, tip. So let's just call it like this. And then there are two anodes. So basically this is like the first uh, anode. And uh, this is uh, these plates are the second anode. And then each of them have uh, different mm, voltages. So let's call them V1 and V2. And uh, we have quite high voltages here. So the first anode, which is the V1, is only around uh, 3 kilovolts. But uh, V2, the second, is easily around. 100 uh, kilowatts. So you can already see that the applied voltages around the tip are already higher than for the other types of uh, guns. So what's the difference between the previous ones and this current one? So the previous uh, guns so the, the tungsten gun and the lanthanum uh, hexaboride guns, uh, these are both uh, work with thermionic emission. So this is a different uh, principle. So basically you heat up the piece of uh, material which is the tungsten filament or the lanthanum hexaboride uh, crystal and apply a field which will uh, pull out the electrons. So this is how tungsten and lanthanum hexaboride works. But in uh, this case we have a uh, field emission, so I already wrote it down. And then uh, this field emission gun is basically a tungsten uh, filament, but uh, it works a bit differently. So I tried to uh, draw it down. So we have our like holder disk, and then uh, we have like two terminals uh, which are conducting the electricity of course and then there is a small uh, polycrystalline uh, tungsten uh, wire so this is uh, tungsten wire but then at the end of the tungsten wire there is another small piece of tungsten which is a single crystal and it has a very very sharp tip so single crystal uh, tungsten with a sharp uh, tip and uh, usually this uh, sharp tip is made with uh, electrolytical etching and the, the sharpness so let's say the, the radius of this is uh, very very small so the tip tip of the radius uh, 
sorry the radius of the tip <laughs> is uh, roughly between 200 to 2000 angstrom so it's very small so this is what we need to know and uh, this is a very bright source so let's make like as an advantage so it's very bright the current density is about 10 to the 6th power ampere per square uh, centimeter so that's a very high value and uh, it's two order of magnitude no, it's better by two orders of magnitude than the lanthanum hexaboride tip and uh, the FEG can produce a focused spot smaller than 100 uh, angstrom without any auxiliary, auxiliary lenses so you don't need lenses and you already have very small uh, spot size but uh, there are some problems with this kind of uh, thing so of course we have very good electron source very bright very well focused but we need very high vacuum and uh, this is like 10 to the minus uh, 10 tor so very low uh, pressure and it can be unstable so that's also a disadvantage and uh, if you require like large uh, spot size or beam size like uh, larger than roughly 300 uh, angstrom then uh, the thermal emission cathodes like the previous two types are, are better than this so this cannot be used for very very high uh, beam size or very big beam size and uh, there are uh, there is another disadvantage or uh, not really a disadvantage but uh, the way as, as this thing works so basically when uh, we have the tip I try to draw it here so we have our sharp tip and we have the first anode uh, if there are some gas particles around uh, this uh, region then these gas particles uh, can be adsorbed uh, to the surface of the tip so that will uh, like make it worse because the radius of the tip will change and also there will be a contamination on the tip so that will mess up the beam and it will uh, degrade the uh, beam current and also it will uh, uh, it will mess up the beam itself so that's not good and uh, it has lower service time than for example the lanthanum hexaboride uh, tip and there are two types of this kind of uh, FEG guns so there is like type 1 that is the cold cathode type so that is basically the thing that I uh, was uh, drawing here on the upper right corner so we have a single crystal tungsten uh, tip and then uh, that is like with that radius so it's like 200 uh, to 2000 angstrom and then uh, this is not assisted by any 
like thermal process and there is the second type which is like the warm uh, cathode and it's often called like the Schottky type so Schottky type uh, cathode which is assisted uh, with uh, thermionic emission so basically we have a tungsten tip uh, but it is uh, coated with uh, some sort of uh, zirconium oxide uh, in order to uh, to lower the work function so the electrons will escape more easily than the cold one but uh, the warm cathode is more sensitive for any kind of environmental changes like uh, vacuum and other stuff so that should be uh, taken into consideration so this is all basically about the field emission gun so this is like the third and uh, basically the m most popular type so uh, it's used almost everywhere at least those laboratories I know about they all use uh, scanning electron microscopes with field emission gun so this is all about uh, this type of gun and in the next lecture I will try to compare these three types of uh, guns and I will also try to show you some pictures about them and uh, I will try to tell more about the differences between these kind of uh, tips so see you in the next uh, lecture then